guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be testing out a new foundation that I got I have tried it before but in a different shade um, this is the L'Oreal true match Lumi healthy luminous makeup right here um, I'm just looking for a good luminous foundation and if this is good I wanted to share it on the internet with you guys so if you want to see me test out this foundation then just okay keep so with this foundation it is a pump which i love that's the best thing and it is in the shade w1-2 warm so yeah let's just get started i'm gonna pump a little bit of this on the back of my hand and then we're just gonna go in I'm gonna start off with only like two pumps just because I used this so long ago I can't even remember um, if it was full coverage or not. Okay, not too bad. It's covering my dark circles on my eyes very nicely. If you guys ever notice that I have extremely dark circles you can t thank the Italian side of me for that. Okay. It's very luminous. I will say that. Definitely. And it, the coverage is actually really nice. You can definitely um, build up the intensity of it. It is very uh, white on my skin but that's okay because it matches my neck pretty good um, my face is just very red as you can see actually I like the way that looks we'll try half we'll see the difference with the foundation versus the other side. Wow, that actually covered everything really, really nicely. And it, this stuff gives you such a glow. Now, this really didn't create any sort of a, a line. It's not really darker than my chin area. I mean neck area. But wow. That is actually really great. If you can see how well it covered everything so far. That really covered a lot. And it's not really sticking to my fine lines or anything like that. And it has such a luminous glow, which is really what I was looking for. So, in this video, now that was two pumps for one side. So, I'm going to do two pumps for the other side. Here we go. Now, I am going to show you guys me setting this with um, my Tarte Amazonian Clay Press Powder and... I'm also going to be using um, bronzer and blush and my normal routine because I want to see what this looks like uh, with everything. So, I'm really, really excited about this. I know a lot of people don't really love um, dewy foundations just because it can make you appear more oily, but my skin is so, like, combination skin, but then again, one day it's super oily, and then the next day it's just a mess, dry, like, I can't with it anymore. So I literally am buying foundations based off of what my skin is one week, and then what it is another week so yeah wow it's really not 
sticking to anything. Like, even over my brows, it's not sticking to my hairs or anything, because it is a thinner product, but it is so full coverage, if that makes any sense. It's very, very, very full coverage. You guys saw how red this side of my face was earlier. And look at it now. Wow. I'm obsessed. Now, before when I tried this, I really couldn't tell um, the coverage of it because I was so tan. And when I'm tanner, it takes away all the redness and all the discoloration in my face because it, that's just what it does. When I'm tan, it makes me all one color. So, yeah. Let's go in with Tarte Shape Tape. This is my favorite concealer of all time. Everyone knows this. If you guys hear anything in the background, that is just the wind and the rain. I love hearing the wind and the rain. I love when it's windy and rainy in the fall. I don't know if that makes me like a weirdo or something, but whatever. Um, it just really sets the fall vibe, I think. Oh, I love shape tape. It's just so good, this concealer. As I told you guys before in my previous video on shape tape, it is pricier. Um, but in my opinion, I think that it really does the job. So... Yeah. All right, gonna blend this guy out. I can't, honestly, I have no doubt that this will work with this because Shape Tape has worked with everything else that I've used. So I'm not surprised that this is working out. What I will be surprised at is the um, powder. That is what I'm really looking forward to seeing work. Wow. This foundation and concealer is a great match. Of course, Shape Tape is very friendly with other foundations. I look extremely pale right now. I need to get some bronzer on this face. And some highlighter because I am excited to see that. It's funny because I have never been such a um, dewy skin person before. Now, <laughs> like once I started YouTube and I started doing like my foundation and everything, I did use highlighter, but the foundation itself was never luminous. It was always just a normal satin finish or something simple. But um, yeah. All right, this set very very nicely on the face so let's just go in with this powder real quick and it looks flawless absolutely flawless I can't wait and because usually when I put on this powder it like soaks up into like the dry patches in my skin which I cannot stand. Um, so, this truly is something else. <laughs> this foundation. And I'm also noticing I don't have to use as much powder, I feel like. Yeah, I really don't have to use that much powder. Which is nice. Because I hate using so much powder. And it is a thinner foundation, so I won't have to use as much. Like, I love the Milani um, Conceal and Perfect. It's such a full coverage, really nice foundation, but I don't know. I just can't anymore with it. It's using, I use too much product for it, and it's just not my thing anymore. Now, I'm loving this. I don't know if you guys can still see, I have a little bit of a glow from the luminosity in the foundation. But we are going to darken this face just a little bit because if you guys can't see, I'm looking pretty ghostly right now. 
So we're just gonna go in with the uh, butter bronzer by Finish Phys by Physicians Formula, and we're gonna take this on the cheeks, in the hollows of the cheekbones. And we're just going to bring it up towards the temple area and blend it. Nice. Very nice. I'm very excited for the um, highlight to come. Wow, bronzer set amazingly with this. It's not coming out patchy. Nothing. Dragons down the neck just a little bit. It's not patchy at all. Obviously, I do still need to blend it, but that's okay. Get the forehead. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I do the whole freaking forehead. I love bronzer. If you know, sorry. Um, it is one of my favorite products to use. Just because it makes the face literally come to life. And I love that. Boom. All right, let's blend this guy out. Just a hair. Just a hair. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to go in with some blush. This is the Tarte Blush in the color Party. This is the Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush. I can't speak today. Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush. Just gonna use a dab. I'm gonna blend that out. Always remember to blend out your blush. Blend out everything on your face. When in doubt, blend it out. I like that thing. Perfect. Now for the part we've all been waiting for. I want to do the highlight so bad. Here we go. I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome in the color Molten Gold. This is my favorite. I love this right now. It is such a dupe for the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. Now, it won't compare to Champagne Pop. However, it is a very good comparison to it. Oh yeah, that's another thing. If you guys haven't noticed, I tend to sing sometimes once things are going well. Wow, this is so nice, you guys. Look at that. It just looks so nice. Oh, it looks so good. On the chin a little bit. And everybody's most hated part the nose. I actually love highlighting my nose. Um, I think it pulls the entire look together. Um, most definitely. Doesn't leave it just blank, if you know what I mean. So, let's just take this, blend it out a little bit. Make it look as natural as possible. Don't mind the foundation on my lips, I'm gonna get that off. Alright guys. Wow, if you can't see already how nicely this laid on my skin, it is not attacking any patches on my skin. It's not doing anything like that. This is actually really, really nice. Um, I will give you guys an update in another video um, how long this did last me um, because I am going to keep this on all day. Um, so yeah, until I go to bed. So yeah, that is the review for this. I approve so far. Um, just putting it on and everything like that, it is really, really nice. The true test will come from um, wearing it throughout the day. But yeah, overall this foundation is really, really nice. It's really, really luminous. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm gonna keep this in my collection as a staple for right now. Um, I will give you guys an update, like I said, on the like 
12 hour wear, I guess you could say. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me on the foundation, just leave it below. I'm be sure to happy those questions. Happy those questions. Happy to answer those questions. Just punch me in the face, please, for not speaking correctly. <laughs> anyway, please subscribe before you leave and turn on notifications to be notified for when I post a video. I post every day, Monday through Friday. Um, more towards the evening time, just so you can relax, watch the makeup, do whatever you need to do. Um, so, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.